So yeah, let's go ahead and get things moving here. Um, I kind of said this on Twitter, but because we are going to be focusing on basically the Tockle stuff today, um, let's just say I'm going to want to have things to talk about. <laughs> so while I'm going through this... Um, Honestly, I think we're at the point where we can maybe start opening up the floodgates a little bit in terms of stuff I may have missed and things of that nature. While we're going through the Tockle stuff, we can maybe talk about that stuff a little bit and maybe I can write stuff down so maybe like in tomorrow's session or something we can maybe get through some of that stuff and check out some of those other extras we can do. I don't know. It, it, it's a thought. It's a thought anyway. Or if there's just, you know, certain questions you want to ask me, whether it's like, you know, recent gaming news or just other things that have been going on as of late. You know, preferably like nothing like political or anything like that, but, you know, just discussion topics that might be interesting to talk about during a gaming stream. Uh, feel free to bring those up because um, the Tackle stuff, while it is interesting, um, it's not the most entertaining and it's also very slow and some of the quests can take a very long time because of just <laughs> how long some of the things are. So, yeah. Feel free to, you know, bring up stuff of that nature while we're going through this. That's kind of cool how, like, um, Hendrick is actually wearing the costume. Like, the, uh, costume he's actually, like, supposed to be wearing, which is kind of interesting. Uh, can some of the stuff we bring up include abilities that we have found helpful in certain situations? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I don't see, I don't see a problem with that. I definitely trust you and your uh, um, your opinions, I guess, Lachlan. You've been around since I... Pretty much since close to when I started playing this. So, you know, I think, I think you have a good kind of gauge for stuff I don't necessarily... Like, stuff I might not find spoilerish and whatnot. Also, hey, Slavko. Uh, so we have Altar of the Cursed King. We don't have this question mark yet. I wonder if maybe there's something um, we have to do in that Chateau Felix place before we do anything with that. I don't know. Uh, what was this again? Ruby Path of Doom. I feel like we were... Did we... I don't remember if we did that last time or not. I think we did, actually. Let me. I need to open up my... Dragon Quest document anyway. So let me do that. One thing I like to say about games like this is that even with its very long length, you can appreciate the game's story if it's really good. I'm like 18 hours into Final Fantasy X and I don't even feel like I'm halfway yet. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's a very true thing, for sure. Uh, so let's go to Quest Quester's Rest. <laughs> so we'll go here next. And we'll just, we'll go to the cat place again if we feel like there's nothing else we can do. So what do we got here? Welcome to Patty's Party Planning Place, where adventurers seeking like-minded souls meet, mingle, and make merry. I know we just met and all, but I feel like I can trust you. I was wondering if you mind me bending your ear about something that's been on my mind. Step around to the side of the counter, will you? Okay, I'll do that in a minute. I'm no innkeeper, just talent heroes have to be worn at one time. Had I ever managed to win in any, the judges must have made a mistake. I'm not cut out for this. I think it might be time to get out of the innkeeping business once and for all. This establishment is run by a talented hot liar named Erin. She has always been very much on top of things, but recently the poor girl seems to have lost all interest in her work. I'm ever so worried about her. Nothing like this has ever happened before. 
Also, Patty, I believe, is a Fortune Street character. Um, uh, you found it strange that you hunted King Metal Slimes without having Hendrik equip axes, since his hatchet man can do the crit or miss thing that Jade was also doing. I honestly didn't think about that. So, yeah, that would have been that would have been good to know. Maybe I will switch him to axes then. But I mean, I'm not exactly hunting for those now, so it's not exactly relevant. But Okay. But yeah, stuff like that, that's fine. I, th I think at that point you can mention stuff like that. Um, you're very underwhelmed, must admit. I heard this place had won an any, so I was looking forward to enjoying some truly top hole hospitality, but the innkeeper has a face like a wet wake weekend. A wet weekend day. Eh? Okay, so Aaron's sad, I guess. Which you, you hate to hear that. Aaron over there has been my friend since forever. She's got innkeeping in her blood, a total natural. But for some reason, she lost her belief in herself. The kid won an any for Pete's sake. She's a boss. She just needs to remember that. Anyway, I've been mulling it over, and I think motivational literature might be the answer. The book I have in mind is about being a king. They say it can bring out the swaggering, self-assured ruler in anybody. I want you to find that book and bring it here so I can give it to Aaron. Will you do that for me? Okay, so we need to find a book. Now, as to where you'll find it, my gut feeling is that you'll need to look someplace where they really take the whole knightly, chivalric thing seriously. There's nowhere like that around here, but maybe there's back where you came from. Find a suitable castle, rifle through the bookshelves, and see what you can find. Okay. So that's either Galopolis or Heliodor. Or maybe even that other place, the place where Silvando lives. Because, I mean, didn't his father, like, teach a lot of that? So anyway, this is... I forgot the name of the place. I think it's, like, Trodane Castle, I think. Or Trodane Inn. Uh, Book of Kings. Galopolis or Heliodor. So I wrote that down. It's a good tip if you decide you want to grind later. Okay, well thank you, Lachlan. But he has Eric with guaranteed crit skill now. Uh, you've been playing SNES games lately and your Switch just finished both Kirby's Dream Course and Super Metroid for the first time. Awesome, Slavko. Are you going to try for the extra courses in Kirby's Dream Course, or are you just going to be focusing on just uh, the main game and call it that? The extra courses can be pretty intimidating to just unlock, so I'd understand if you want, want to take a pass on that. Okay, so Room of Revival, I feel like I did that... Actually, before I do... Well, no, no, I haven't done that, but there is... I do have the information for that one. Uh, so, Quester's Rest, that's what it was called. Quester's Rest. So, Room of Revival, we can't do anything with because we need to find the old man at the Liar of Ire. But, Tenton, we can go to, so let's go there. Maybe the library. Oh, Krim, you're so helpful as always. Hope you're doing well, Krim. Oh, sweet. Three gold coins. Hey, Ringra. Our poor village. I wandered away from Tenda and the others are found myself back here, you see. Now I'm reeling from this shock. Well, whoever you are, we need your help. Start by making sure you have spoken to everyone here. Okay. We lived in a peaceful seclusion for so long, our village was protected by the blessings of the Shelled One and hidden from monsters by Tenda's sorcery. But that peace was not destined to last. Tenda foresaw that one day monsters would come and the Shelled One would be taken from us. When I heard this, I was naturally thrown into a terrible panic, but Tenda remained calm and led the villagers to safety before the monsters came. She is young, but she is far wiser than me. Now the important thing is to restore the Shelled One to his restful place before everyone returns to the village. 
Oh, how I pray that he comes home to us unharmed. Okay, so let's keep breaking stuff. Oof. Man, I'm finding a lot of gold here, at least. So you have come. You are slim, are you not? And you have come to the restore the shelled one. I bid you welcome. Do not be surprised. Tenda foresaw it all. She predicted that the troubles rolling around the world would bring monsters, that they would carry off the Galapagod, and that you would be our savior. Allow me to explain. The Galapagod is a giant tortoise that watches over our village. He sends his thoughts to Tenda, blessed as she is, with acute psychic powers, and she uses his instructions to guide us. The thought of monsters manhandling the shelled one pained me terribly, but Tenda told me that I should not resist and should instead wait for the coming of the one called Slim. Your destiny is to restore the Galapagod to his rightful place, as has been foretold. Will you travel between worlds, defeat the monsters in the castle of the Necrondgod, and return our sacred guide to us? Okay. Oh, what a relief. I was not worried, of course. New new agree the Sheldon was never wrong. Now, while I cannot join you on your quest, I will aid you in whatever way I can. Firstly, please take this. Ooh, the Zoom Stone. With this stone, you'll always be able to return to Tendon, even all the way from another world. When you find the shelled one, use the zoom stone, and both you, of you will be whisked back here in a flash. I know you can do it, Slim, for it's your destiny. So, so it's not here. It's in another world. That's it's so weird that there's like so much world hopping here, but. I, mean, I guess it's kind of unique. I mean, especially for those who do love, like, this series. Uh, you wanted to do the normal courses in BDD at the end for now, but I might go for the extra courses and maybe the gold medals someday. Well, best of luck with that. It can be, again, like I said, it can be pretty difficult, so... You know, best of luck with all of that. Okay... I forgot what Gallenholm was, but apparently we did this. I'm going to see what it is really quick, just to refresh myself. Wasn't this the place where, like, everyone was, like, a dog or something? If not, I do remember doing this. Even if it wasn't that, I do remember the layout of that area. So. Dogs! Okay, so let's go to Damn Dara. We're gonna go to that Damn Dara again. <laughs> Do I... Is that a typo? Do I espy a wanderer come to visit? I bid thee welcome, friend. Now, unless mine eyes deceive me, thou art no Kalo youth, but rather a seasoned warrior. Allow me to appraise thee of what hath befallen this place. T'was once the fair town of Dundara. Alas, tis now a monster-ravaged wasteland whose people have all fled. Our woes began when marauding fiends laid waste to our beloved home. Now one among them is risen again, by what foul means I know not. I speak of that shadowy chevalier, the knight aberrant. This wicked being now ruleth over the ruins of Dumdara, and I have roused the departed from their slumber, that he might tyran tyrannize them. Yeah, I myself is one such unfortunate soul. I know not who art thou art, friend, but I beseech thee, take up arms against the night aberrant, and return us to our rest. Prithee, banish the darkness that hath descended upon this place. Okay. Huzzah, thou wilt accede to my request. Verily, the hero we have awaited hath come at last. Now thine enemy, the night aberrant, doth oft appear behind the armorers in the southeast of the town. Prithee, lay this foul fiend to rest that our own unique our own unquiet souls may sleep in peace once more. Okay. Ghost of a Golden Age. Let's see. 
basically what I'm getting from this is this place sucks because of monsters. <laughs> That's clearly what it means. Do I need to walk through the poison or can I go this way? A curious memory doth trouble my mind as late I did spy Magog as he buried a certain something neath the tree behind his shop. Was on the very eve of the calamity that struck us. Though what might have been, I know not. And besides, was long ago, whatever was his doubt long since been distant and otherwise removed. Well, hold on. Before you say that, is this the shop? No, it's low battery. And again, don't worry about low battery. Um, I have a cord to connect it, I just have to grab it if it disconnects, which is not that hard to do. Heed me, wanderer. The night aberrant under those tyranny we labor is known to appear without warning to the rear of the armor shop. Be sure to be on the guard. As to the matter of worry for you, my haunts to place, that this I know not. Could something be precious, perhaps be it lost to him there? Okay, so that's what they're kind of talking about. Do we just wander around till they appear? I feel like that's what I'm that's kind of what I gathered from that. To the rear of the armorer's shop. Be sure to be on thy guard. So he's looking for something. But which one's the shop? Like... Is this the shop? Head to the back of the weapon shop in the southeast of town. Okay, hold on. This is the weapon shop. Well, how do I get to the back? Unless it's that tree that's by the poison. Oh, there we go. Okay. An eerie voice can be heard drifting in the air. Wherefore thou hast come here, fool, knowest thou not the vex, the ruler of this realm of mystery, is a crime punishable by death, have at thee. Okay, here we go. Isn't this guy, like, really weak, though? <laughs> I love how they're actually, like, using, like... <laughs> they're all using buffs, they're not even using attacks yet. <laughs>
Well, he's taking more hits than I thought he would, so... I'll give him a little more credit than I was giving him, but... Why isn't he not using cub buff? Because he can just do that to everybody. <laughs> He did take a couple of hits, I will give him credit for that. And that's 13,000 experience points. Okay, Hendrick. And Veronica. Let's see. I can't get Hendrix, but I can get the next thing I wanted to get for Veronica. What did I want? Was it this? Just needed 14 for whatever I was going to get. Oh, it was this. Okay. I need 16 for this one. With the Knight Aberrant defeated, the spirits of Town Folk will be able to rest in peace once more. Go and tell them at the entrance, Domdra, that his oppressor is no more. Yay, we did it. Praise be, we are delivered from our plight. Verily, thou art the Savior we have so long awaited. Prithee, accept this small token of my gratitude, trifling though it be. Ooh, five chunks of Dincinium. Okay, so we've completed this. Hadst thou not happened upon our humble town, mayhap we might never have been saved. Now, though, thanks to thy timely intervention, we may sleep peacefully at last. I am Galen, best among bards, who praises once were sung in every corner of this fair land. The town of Damdara, in ru whose ruins thou standest, was once a bustling and handsome settlement, but alas, no more. Though when I close mine eyes, glad scenes of yesteryear do float before me as if they occurred only yesterday. Come, friend, join me in my revere. Or reverie, whatever. Okay, so that we did finish this place. That's kind of nice. We finished a thing. And see, some of the quests will be that short, but then there's other ones where it's like, oh hey, go through this really annoying dungeon with, like, lots of things to fight. <laughs> That's what was, like, really obnoxious about this stuff. Uh, so we're in a castle now. Ooh, treasure chests. Ooh. Ooh, life! <laughs> Bid thee welcome to Tatangle, the town of the very heart of Al Al oh, Alifgard. The noble souls thou seest before thee are none other than our beloved king and this fair daughter, the Princess Gwelyn. Verily, tis marvelous indeed to see the princess restored to her rightful place. She hath late been rescued by a mighty hero from the clutches of the foul tyrant known as the Dragon Lord. So this is like Dragon Quest 1, from what I remember. I fear that if the king should remain in this current story state, sorry state, You'll be unable to discuss a certain matter of great import with the hero of our land. If our hero ventureth forth without any of all such aid as might be imparted to him, heaven alone knoweth what might befall him. Oh, how the princess would wail were he to come to harm. How long is it since we heard the king's bold and vigorous voice resounding throughout the throne room? Verily, it must be agony from the suffer, so I beseech thee do all that in power to aid the princess and help with this terrible misfortune behind us. The king looks as if he has something wishes to say. Okay, well, what do, you, what do we have to do? Greetings to you, wanderer. I am Gwelyn, princess of Tatangle. For thee, lead me thy ears, I might impart to thee my sorry tale. Some days ago, a fiend calling himself the End of Time 
did appear before my noble father, and did place upon him a curse that hath rendered him unable to utter a word. Tis a calamity indeed, for there is a matter of great import upon the subject of which he did wish to consult with the hero of our land, but how can he do so when his hath been struck so cruelly dumb? I have done all that is within my power to cure him, but alas, no tincture or tonic or balm hath had the slightest effect. But one fay hope remaineth to us, a sweet syrup known as spectrum nectar. A single spoonful is said to bring honeyed words gushing forth like unto a brook after the summer rains. Alas, tis not a concoction the humble peasant or idler miller might mix up in a trice. Nay, it has been said since ancient times it's only one who bringeth peace upon our world might I lay his hands upon it. Tis a weighty request indeed, perhaps one day thou might bring a peace to this world or another. Should such a happy marvel come to pass, the sacred nectar might be thine. What sayest thou, wilt thou aid us in our hour of need? Wilt thou bring me the spectrum nectar, that I might ease my dear father's suffering? Okay, let's see what we can do. Thou wilt, O joy, tee he, simper. Would that I might offer more guidance, alas, all I know is that the only such as thee, able to travel at will, twixt thine on own world, and this stand the chance of finding that which I seek. According to her, only one who can bring peace to their world. So we need to, I guess, go to this world in another book, maybe? I'm trying to think if it, if it means, like, this world, like, the world of Dragon Quest 1, or, like, our world. It's not really that clear. To Tangle Castle. We need Spectrum Nectar. One who brings peace can get their hands on it. Okay, well, that's going to be uh, something we'll need to find out later. already did that. Let me look at some of these other books to see if... See, I, I kind of want to go to Erdrich's future home, because I feel like that might be what I'm looking for. Maybe. I, I wish I knew for sure. What was the last one here? Weaver's Peak. Okay. Okay, well, let's just keep looking. Cannot Castle. tried. Hello, this is a courageous adventurer. I see before me, well met wanderer, I know whom are thou art, but there is a boon I would ask of thee. Some days since, mine own beloved son, the crown prince, did vow to vanquish the high priest Hargon, and so saying, did set out in search of the prince of M Maidenhall that they might join forces in this quest. But he did not depart on foot, nay, it seemed that the boy did vanish into thin air, like unto a puff of smoke. None have since seen hide nor hair of him. 
A father can I help but fret for thee, wilt thou seek him out and bring him to me, that I might know he is well here, he ventureth forth once more. So we need to find his son. Verily thou art benevolent indeed, as I have stated, my son did set out in search of the prince of Maidenhall, in addition the princess of Moonbrook, another of his royal peers. I have scant little the way of further details save this. Would seem he spoke of having a hair of a prince among people named the Romers. It was upon so saying that he did vanish. So we need to go to the place with Romers, I guess. But I want to see the princess and say hi, damn it. I should be allowed to do that. I want to say hi. <laughs> I just want to say hi. But <laughs> you killed Hargon earlier this week. The dream. The dream. Okay, so can it castle... Find a king's son, moon princess of moon brook and rovers. Okay. I feel like there was like a place yeah yeah the roamers let's see if we can find is that is that him What's that? Has the Prince of Kinnock been through here? Well, there was this laid-back sort of fellow who came by not long ago and asked me if I was the Prince of Maidenhall. I told him he was right about me being royalty, but that I was the Prince of Estard, not Maidenhall, whatever that is. He wandered off looking very disappointed. He was a bit of an oddball, to be honest. He was muttering something about going to a cave with a weird name to look for some princess. What was it again? The Imperial Pantry of Parthenia? to go to Parthenia now, I guess? Weaver's Peak... Keep accidentally pressing buttons. Okay, well, let's, I guess, look at this one now. We'll keep moving. We might find it later on. Oh god, this looks like a maze. Lo, a true warrior standeth before me. How do I know this to be true, thou Christ? Why, a proud soldier of Maidenhall can tell a fellow fighter when he sees one. Tis fortuitous indeed, for I seek just as someone as thee. Wherefore thou sayest, why a foul and ferocious monster hath laid claim to the treasures of the cave wherein we stand. Aye, three great treasures indeed, the soul sigil, Erdrick's armor, and the mighty thunderbolt blade. 
He hath girded himself all about with them, and doth parade these corridors most arrogantly. The Larcinius fiend must be relieved of them forthwith, lest his majesty the prince of Mindenhall arrive to claim them, and find himself and his companions deprived of their aid. I beg of thee, do all that is in thy power to vanquish this impertinent knave, and return the three treasures to the rightful resting place. Okay. So we need to, I guess... there. That goes there. Please tell me I can, well yeah, I can one-shot these guys. That's good. So yeah, since this is our first, like, grindy place, where we're gonna be grinding a bit, or not really grinding, but, you know beating these extremely weak monsters as we're trying to find stuff. Again, if there's anything you want to maybe mention about this game in terms of stuff that I haven't found yet, or things you want to talk about, maybe just in general, this would be a good time to, because this is going to be probably pretty long. You remember this place? Is it pretty bad? It looks pretty bad. So does it just like take us into like random... Probably. Hendrick makes a very good meat shield. I definitely uh, agree with that. Hendrick's definitely been very helpful in this playthrough for a number of reasons. So I so you remember this from like this game and then also like the game it came from? That's that, that's gotta be kinda cool, like to an extent. Like if it's a bad place, like obviously there's gonna be some dread with it. But again, just kind of the idea that, you know, this is You know, it's a reference to an older game that you may have played, which is kind of cool. Oh, there you are. There are treasure chests, though. And I want them. Thunderball! You love a good Thunderball. Meat shield strats are awesome in post game. Yeah, I can see that. You could almost say it's a link to the past. I don't know about that, Lachlan. That's a, that's a, maybe a bit too meta for me. Just a bit too meta. Also, hybrid instead of hybrid. Clever. 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 Okay, so I don't actually—I don't think I actually have to put the treasures back. Maybe I think we just need to reclaim them. I think that's what they want us to do. I gotta say, one of the things that I discovered from last session, like. One strat I could see being really helpful, it just it never really worked whenever I tried to use it, because, like, my team kept getting bodied, but the, uh, the burst magic of, uh, Veronica, that seems like that could be, like, an interesting strat. Like, if you feel like you're getting, like, pretty close to the end of the fight and you just want to end it, you could use that, and that just does a whole bunch of damage. And I also heard that there's, like, apparently a, uh... 
a strat using pet powers with that that makes it even better. Getting kind of low on HP. That's a very specific amount of gold. <laughs> so I know some of you are also like very, very like RPG Final Fantasy type of gamers. Like, I've been hearing, like, a lot of mixed things about the Crystal Chronicles port. Like, what, what's exactly up with that? Or... Because that was a game I was kind of semi-interested in. Because I never played it when it came out initially, but I like the idea of playing, like, cooperative stuff. But it seems like it's not been getting good reviews, and I don't exactly get why, so... I'm just kind of curious, like, what's exactly going on with that? If anyone does, no. I don't want to go that way, I don't know. There are some oddities in the controls, you never like restrictive multiplayer games. Like, how exactly, like, what, what exactly do you mean by, like, restrictive? Like, can you not, like, do the whole game with it? You can only do, like, certain parts of it or something? Was I gonna get something with 14? Yeah, I think I was gonna see what this was, because it's spears. So now I need 18.
You should be able to do the whole game co-op, but you're literally stuck together on a short leash and any kind of move. Oh, that is kind of lame. I mean, I kind of get why, I guess, because, like... Depending on, like, certain events triggering and stuff of that nature, but, like... I can, under I can understand how being, like, on an incredibly short leash can be, like, really frustrating. Because, like, you can definitely tell the reason why they have it like that is because they don't want, like, things to get broken or anything. Like, I think that's kind of goes without saying... And it's more mission-based, less exploring, okay. To me, like, that doesn't really bother me too much, but I, again, I can see why that would be a problem for other people. Like, I like games that are mission-based, because you kind of can stay focused on an objective, but I also enjoy exploring, too, so... Like, it's, you know, I can definitely see... Oh, there's holes! I don't like holes... ...to this degree, anyway. You know what, I am going to go ahead and ask this now. I feel like I know the answer, but, you know, it may not hurt to ask, you know. Is there a way to speed this up at all? <laughs> like, just the general, like, battle, like, the text or anything? I don't know, I do find it weird that it's as slow as it is. That's what kind of is weird. Wait, big is this a big banger? Pretty sure an option for battle tech speed. Let me find that, because that might actually like get rid of a lot of my frustrations with this. <laughs> I mean not that it's like awful or anything, it's just again I wish it'd go a little faster. 
Okay, so misc. Yeah, oh, it is normal. Fast. I'm guessing fast. Let's see how fast it is now. Oh my god, this is so much better! <laughs> Why did I not look for this earlier? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I've been just going normal this whole time, but I could have I could have gone. Oh jeez. Oh my god, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> Guys, I've only played one Dragon Quest game and it was the first one. <laughs> I think that could have been brought to my attention, maybe. <laughs> but it's fine. I, I am generally pretty strict when it comes to spoilers and telling me how to play the game, so I'm not, I'm not faulting anyone. <laughs> By the way, take a guess of how you remember this place. Uh, probably the general aesthetic. Maybe you thought the aesthetic is like really nice and really beautiful, and it really touched your heart in a way that you never thought possible. That would be my guess. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> But no, I'm gonna guess it's probably this dungeon and the falling down floors thing. That's probably. Yeah, but is that a hint though? Like, <laughs> to me that seems like more of a just convenience. <laughs> uh, nah, it's all good. It's all good. I again, I'm not mad at anyone. It's, it's, uh, if anything, I find it kind of funny that I just never thought to ask that or look into that more. Uh, there is something I can get with you. Not with you, though. Do I want to go down here? Or... I don't remember what I was doing with you. Apparently nine... Be like water? Okay, that's interesting. Um, I guess we'll... Well, let's just keep seeing what these are. It's a quality of life hint. Yeah, I think I think those are a little more like fair. <laughs> oh my god. Literally, I was at the staircase. <laughs> Even still, I feel like I would have looked it up if there was, like... Like, I feel like I would have looked it up myself. Because that sounds like something I would do if something was painfully slow, see if there'd be a way to speed it up. I, I guess I just assumed there wasn't. But that was bad of me to do that, I admit it. Oh my god, it's so much better doing this now. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh 
And of course, I find a new hole to fall in because reasons. I need to use my pet power before... <laughs> they put a hole two spaces from the staircase! <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. If DT was playing this, he would hate that so much. <laughs> and I would not blame him one bit for hating that. Really? Hey everybody, we're in a maze. I hope you like mazes, because we're in a maze. Forgot to use the pep power again. Hazy Maze Cave, Yay's Day. What? <laughs> Ringer was wrong. not right. Right, left, right? Okay, this is new. So right, left, right is the path. Oh my god. This is what we're doing, guys. Right, left, right. Right? No! <laughs>
think for Erica, I was just picking up random things at this point. Okay, magical mending. Another magical mending. So I need 16 for that. Okay, let's keep moving. Left, up. Found him! Grahaha, yeah, even the mightiest monster in Rendark standeth not, Clank, the slightest of chances against my pitli pitiless blade. But wait, what have we have here? Dost thou desire to Clank face me? Very well, thou seemest a worthy opponent. I will welcome the chance to display my matchless skills. My lord and master did guide me here, whereupon I availed myself of the, the Clank, finest of knightly trappings. The Thunderbolt Blade, the Soul Sigil, and the armor of none other than Erdrick himself. And lo, in donning his fabled garb, I became mighty as he. None shall best me now. Now, the time is upon us. I must unleash up my newfound clank powers and aid my master in reducing this realm to naught but a shattered wasteland. Gra ha 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 ha! Dude, you're a jerk. Let's kill him. <laughs> Let's kill him. <laughs> sure, we'll do this just for fun. He does have a lot of uh, attacks. We'll get him down. Chop and churn. It's like we're churning butter or something, I don't know. Man, that guy actually hit pretty hard, not gonna lie. Happy to get that experience, that's for sure. Hendrik, Veronica... Okay. Also, I might wanna... I may need to respond to something really quick after I put these points in. Okay, so Hendrik, I can get something else. Something with 14... I think it was just this. I think I can use it's just seven. Nope.
Oh, I don't have enough for this. Never mind. With the fiend who f filched and them defeated, Erdrick's armor, the soul sigil, and the thunderbolt blade began to glow with the lustrous lights. I will. I just need to get back there. Well, why have a staircase there if you can't even... Maybe I can come back here later or something. That might be it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, this silly game sometimes. finish this quest first. But yeah, once once I turned on the fast, fast tech stuff, like, yeah, this got, like, a lot more tolerable. <laughs> Not gonna lie. St oh my god! What is with these damn holes? <laughs> That's the most important thing, is you're feeling good. Tired, it's like, whatever, you'll... It's the weekend, you can rest now. And that's, what's, that's what's important. But if you're good, that means you're good, and that's good. Good? <laughs> I know, I'm a dork. What else is new? Jade... What do you got going? Nothing yet, okay. Let me, again, like I said, I want to get out of this dungeon before I do anything else. Because there is something I need to uh, respond for a bit. Respond to. I think this is the door I need to get into. Well, before I do that, let me see. Where does this go? Because there might be, like, more treasures like this, yeah. kind of is a bit unnerving because I feel like there could be like just a whole bunch of like these random rooms elsewhere. Whatever. Uh, you did get your component cable in for my Super Nintendo last night so it's pretty... Oh, that is pretty nice. Awesome. Now you can game with gusto. I like to call it. Well, man, I feel like I got that level pretty quickly. This actually is, it seems like, a pretty decent place to grind, all things considered. Maybe not the best place to grind, but, you know, it's something. Uh, can I get this? Not yet. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. Yep. 
I want treasure. It looks dang nice with the retro tank thing. Oh, awesome. Lo, thou art returned, and from the glistering glint that adorneth thine eye, I surmise that thou hast succeeded in thy quest, vanquish thy foe, and recover the item. Thanks for the host. I. It doesn't tell me who hosts anymore, which is kind of obnoxious, but thanks for the host. Um. Okay, we got the items back. With these treasures to aid him, the Prince of Mindhell and his companions will be able to take on Fal Hargon. When finally the day arriveth, thou hast done this realm a great service have pleased thee. Henceforth I shall steadfastly stand guard and ensure that no other miscreant dares lay their hands upon them until such time as they are needed. Hmm, tis not my place to say this, perhaps, but thou art possessed of a certain nobility that doth bring to mind the Prince himself. Intriguing. Oh, okay, well thank you, uh, Sergeant HLM. You did it. You did the thing. I did the thing, too. But... Um, really quickly, I do need to... I think there is a place where I can heal out here really quick, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll, again, take that very quick break. I'm not gonna, like, m like... I'll still be here. I'll just be responding to something. Wait, what? Oh, so I don't have to actually pay here. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, let me do this. So, again, feel free to keep on communicating. I'm just need to respond to something.
Low battery is not a big deal, guys. I have a cord where I can plug that in. I'll actually grab that once I finish this message. Okay, let me grab the battery cord. guys can stop worrying about low battery. Okay. Let's continue because now we're actually going places because the battle speed doesn't take freaking forever. Okay, so we did that. Okay, so I'm going to go to Erdrich's future home really quick, because I feel like that's what we're, like, I don't know, it depends on what that one quest actually means. It's kind of hard to say. No, this isn't it. We worry because we care. It's a controller! <laughs> if I was in, in danger or something, then... <laughs> then I'd appreciate that. <laughs> it's just a controller, though. <laughs> uh, oh, God. E, when the hero of Alayan toppled the evil Baramos, we could have been forgiven for thinking we had seen the last of the monsters who terrorized our land. But no such luck, I'm afraid. No, there are sinister things afoot. If you are inclined to help us and wish to learn more, I recommend that you speak to His Majesty over there. Okay. Oh. Okay. E, things do not look good. Wait, what do we have here? Caramba! A mighty warrior. Aye, you look like you know one end of a sword from the other. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me explain a little about this place. This was once the seat of power and the king of the Necrogond before the archfiend Baramos came and claimed it as his own. Isn't Necrogond like a place we were needing to visit? I feel like it was, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Happily, a great hero ventured forth from a place called Alihan and smote the beast. With peace restored to our world, we came from all over to honor those who fell at Baramos's hand. 
I, but things rarely so simple to our horror. When we arrived here, we found countless reanimated cadavers prowling the corridors of the castle on a quest to revive their fallen master. If they succeed, the incredible achievement of the hero who toppled Baramos would have been for naught. No, we cannot allow this to happen, but we will need your help, stranger. What do you say? Okay. Abrigado! My appraisal of you is not mistaken. Now venture into the castle where you'll find, no doubtless find, kings from other realms and their courageous men doing battle with the undead hor uh, hordes. I warrant they will be able to tell you more about who or what is orchestrating this plot to resurrect the fallen fiend, por favor. Find them and put an end to their monstrous machinations. Okay. So we gotta go in the castle and do some things. That sounds good to me. At first all I had were questions. Why did I return? But what am I to do here to do? But then I heard his voice and everything became clear. We must restore our master, Baramos. That is what we are here to do. But I don't like Baramos. Who's Baramos? <laughs> I keep wanting to read that as Bemos, by the way, because of course I do. bottle hit the mic. Wait, Baramos, you're more of a fettuccine kind of girl. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. God, the accursed voice that rattles around my skull and I can't ignore it. It first spoke to me as I lay in my grave. Rise, people of the Necrogon, it said. Give me life once more and I vow to grant you eternal bliss. Silvando, how close are you? You need 20, so you're not there yet. Wait, it's just light outside again. Serena, right? Yes. Ooh, Thunder Thrust. You love a good... Th I won't say it. Fourteen. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. Let's just continue. And actually... Wait, what? Does this place keep changing? 
Because it, it looks like the castle changed. And I can't enter, I can't exit now. Okay, I think I understand now. Oh, that was that was easy. <laughs> so yeah, we were on the second floor, that's why. The castle didn't change, we were just on the second floor. Grubby bandage. Casarola, please do not speak up on me. I'm not sneak up on me like that. I was certain you were a monster. Forgive me. I'm a little on edge. If I had known that things would end up like this, I would have insisted on the hero keeping my crown when we first came here to Elihan. There's no response. It's just a corpse. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm a little confused about what exactly we're supposed to be doing here. That's what I was missing. Said he got eight skill points. Oh, yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> I just wasn't focusing. electricity there.
People of Necrogon once guarded the pit of Gaiga. We wish to protect the world to prevent calamity, but now I see how futile it was. Peace means nothing. Protecting others is for fools. All that matters is power, and serving Baramos will give us power without end. That's short-sighted. <laughs> Can't believe you would think that. Okay, why? How could this happen? A brave young soldier who traveled with me from Minoza fell into the hands of the enemy and was taken away. He, just thinking about his fate, is too painful. Let's see. Okay, I have to fight these guys, I guess. Finally, I'm free. I was a mere puppet. I tried to resist, but my body was not my own. Thank you for freeing me, stranger. Thank you. Man, all these. Oh, this game. Is it still the 100% dream? Um, I don't know. I might try to get everything. I'm at least trying to do all, like, the side quests and stuff. Just because it is, like, actual questing content and stuff. Um, let's see. Thank you, the voice in my head is gone, my mind is my own once more, now I truly am free. Obrigado, thank you for saving me, but I still fear the life of the brave young soldier who was carried away by those undead fiends. Ringra, I don't know what to do with you, buddy. <laughs> Guard, you know everything about this game. That's the real question. All of our prayers, the sacrifice we will make, it is all for one end, the resurrection of Baramos. You too should pray. Nah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'd rather not, if I'm being honest. It is most curious, but I am convinced I saw one of those undead creatures weeping. Perhaps they're not truly evil, perhaps they're merely pawns in the higher powers game. Truly, that is not the fate I'd wish on anyone. As far as I can tell, the undead are in fact people of the Necrogon. It seems both the king and his unfortunate subjects have been resurrected. It's truly tragic irony that those felt like the Archfiend Baramo should be forced to have tried to revive him. I'm convinced that somewhere in this castle there is a monstrous mastermind pulling the strings and controlling the hordes of the undead. If this sinister manipulator were to be defeated, the unique souls of the command would surely be released from his thrall, and any danger of Baramos being revived would be ended. Okay. Let's see if we can find that then. Probably this guy right here, if I'm being honest. If I had to think about it. 
Erg, that voice. I cannot give into it. I cannot let it win. No, there is something more powerful than that voice. Something I cannot ignore. I speak of my people's pain, their anguish at being treated as mere puppets. That vile creature who calls himself the Necrogondolier must be defeated. Only when he joins his master in oblivion can my people truly rest in peace. Thinking is best left in the mind of professionals. I try to... Fair enough, Lana. Fair enough. Oh! Is that that turtle that we're supposed to rescue? I think it is. Well, I'm that stranger. I am the king of Adina, but fear not. I have the common touch. That means I can make a conversation with everyone from foreign dignitaries to the lowliest bumpkin such as yourself. Now, this is rather embarrassing to admit, but after managing to make it all the way to within a hair's breadth of the bad hat who's behind all of this, I'm afraid I find myself rather too frightened to continue. Burr is truly terrifying sight. A gang of putrid corpses seized the young soldier and carried him down the stairs in the center of the pond. I gave chase with a powerful evil, seeing the hang in the air growing greater with every step I took. Chilled my blood, and I'm ashamed to say that my nerve failed me, and I turned back. Okay, so it's that electric stuff, I'm guessing. I'll check on that later, because I feel like that's a different quest we need to solve. from there. I need to go down that staircase now. Rab. Are you up to 16 now? You are. Yo, Mega Freak 400. First of all, I still really love that raid alert now. I think it's becoming one of my favorite alerts. Second, <laughs> hope you had a good stream. Third, is that what I was saying earlier? Like Banjo Kaz Banjo Tooie without Kazooie? Is that what that's in reference to? Any who a disrupting ceremony must die. Okay. Oh, hey, Ryu Ash. Banjo minus Kazooie. No, he had a glitch where the two split up. I couldn't put... What? <laughs> that's, that's so weird. <laughs> I, I need to... If you have a clip of that, send that to me later. I want to see it. Oh my gosh. Please do, because that sounds funny. <laughs> I, I love stuff like that in games. There's no response, the guard is- Oh, that's sad! We should heal him then, right? Make him feel better? Javi, I really love that alert. <laughs> like, I love that song. I think it's just perfect. Okay, see how the fallen of the Necrogon obey my every word? Yes, they have served me well, but little do they know that their reward will be un unimaginable suffering. Yes, their torment is only beginning. The 
time of his return is at hand, fed by the flesh of the living and despair of the wakened dead, my lord and master, Baramo, shall rise once more. But wait, what is this? The, they are gone. My minions. Those who were assist me in the right. Th this cannot be. You, are you responsible for this? Do you really mean to prevent me from reviving my master? Hell yeah. I knew it. You have committed a heinous crime. Not only have you interrupted the ceremony, but you have deprived me of the company of my puppets. Pathetic though they were, I liked having them around. Oh, that might have been it, Mega, yeah. That that actually makes sense. Brownie boost? I don't really need that though. Man, Slim has a lot or the Luminary has like a lot of pet powers. <laughs> He has so many. Let's just use... I'll just use this. Wow, that was fast. Now, who are you? How did you manage to defeat me? What, what about my dreams? My beautiful dreams? Please, Master, take me. I offer myself unto you that you might live again. Please, Master, erg. You successfully disrupt the ceremony to resurrect the Archfiend Baramos. Report back to the King of Portica near the castle entrance. Okay. Okay, I do want to do a little bit of investigating before I leave, because I know there were some staircases... I didn't check yet. Uh, where's the other? Where's the other staircase? And I know there's some other treasures here. Cause I, yeah, like there's that right there. I, I want to get those. <laughs> the only question is how and why and where and when. All the important questions. See, found them. Repairing seat of defense. Seat of agility, okay. I think that's it, so I think we can see what that turtle thing is. I think that's again one of the quests from earlier that we found that was like, hey, do this. And I was like, okay, I will. Also, I haven't been getting any encounters, have I? So I think we don't have to worry about those anymore. It's a very large tortoise. Chances are it's the Galapagod, the sacred guardian of the village of Tenton. It's clearly in some discomfort, but it's remaining stoical. Apparently you can ride this thing. I bet he can take us to some amazing places if he's in the mood. Verily, and yeah, the great turtle doth intrigue and excite in equal measure. Lo, the power of that emaneth from him is like unto that of the heavens. Zounds! Who art thou? Wherefore hast thou ventured here? And tiddest thou trespass against us and return to the turtle to Tenson, its erstwhile home? Yes. Verily, thou art do dogged indeed to have pursued the creature so far. The devotion would be admirable were it directed toward a more righteous end. 
Alas, thou art plainly misguided in thy faith, and must needs to be excommunicated like the heathen thou art. You say a lot of stuff, but do you actually... I don't know. I can only do one enemy, though. Eh. We'll just fight. Hey Grim Angel, how you doing? Also, let me look at the other messages. Sorry, I was kind of focusing. Uh, how's the stream going? Stream's going alright. Um, we're just doing like side quest stuff now since we finished the game last time. Or finished the post game last time. Uh, so we're focusing on the toggle stuff first. I found a way to speed up the action, which makes this a lot more bearable. <laughs> Because it was just way too slow, and that's the funny thing, it was on normal speed. Makes me wonder if there's like an even slower speed than that, which is like insane. Uh, but it's been alright so far, we've, we've completed a couple of quests, we're getting ready to complete a couple of more. Um, we're still leveling up, which is also nice. It's been, been pretty fun so far, I gotta admit. Um, let me see. This was... I wanted to check this out, so... What is this final spear technique? Flashback. Sacrifices the user's defense in order to strike back against all incoming attacks with powerful counter. Ooh. That sounds pretty intense. Not my favorite kind of skill, but it does sound pretty cool, I guess. So we'll go ahead and learn that for fun, I guess. Er, wh wh wherefore, we did faithfully kidnap the turtle. The loss of the creature's aid would surely have starved that hateful hero of help, and all would have been heavenly. Ng. The Galapagot is looking this way, his began expression seems to be... His benign expression seems to be communicating his gratitude. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um... Okay, Lana, uh, that ended up working well, watching you and DT. DT, I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't. ALTTP Rando. You. I think that's... <laughs> that's funny, Lana. <laughs> that sounds like a fabulous idea. <laughs> uh, Dragon Quest meets Earthbound. Uh, I've been alright. I've been alright. Uh, did you find the missing quest on the list? Uh, no, I have not, and I did mention before that uh, at this point, I am okay with finding that information out, so if you have an idea for why that quest is not there, please uh, go ahead and reveal your thoughts. Okay, so we got the turtle back. Before this misfortune fell us, the shelled one had not left our village for a thousand years or more. Every second without him was pure agony, though I believed that he would be returned to us. I was beset by worry. It's good that the other villagers were spared of all of this. We are fortunate to have a leader as wise as Tenda. It was she who led the people of this village to safety. In truth, I do not know why all this happened, but there is one thing I am sure of. Tenda is wise and noble, and I will do all I can to serve and assist her. We have all our role in life, and that is mine. You completed the Galapagon quest. Good work. Okay, so it's something in Octagonia. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Does it just not have, like, a quest trigger or something? Because that's why I couldn't find it. It's, it's, and it's weird that it didn't, if I'm being honest. It's not this. That's so dumb, though. Like, that's really bad design, if I'm being honest.
Yeah, hey, Return of CMC, I've had some success. The Walking Dead, or no... The Walking Dead is over? The Walking Dead is cancelled now? <laughs> I knew you could do it. I knew you could defeat whatever evil was plotting the resurrection of the fiend, Baramos. Obrigado, thank you, and I'll take this. Truly, you've earned it. So we got a Dracolite. Uh, the quest is a load of bull, too. Is it just... I, I, I'll see what it is later. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, but there's more. I found a mysterious word carved in the wall of the castle. I do not pretend to know what it means, but it may prove useful to you. So wait, there's another... We'll see when I re-enter this. I love how it's called Baramos' Castle later on. <laughs> it's like, we couldn't come up with a name for like this. It's just like, later on. <laughs> Part, yeah. I, it is you, and not a moment too soon. I was just going to send one of my men to search for you. Please brace yourself for bad news. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but the Archfiend Baramos has returned. I do not understand it. You slew the evil mastermind behind the monstrous plot to revive the Lord of Evil, the one who called himself the Necron Gundelier, so how is it his plan to succeed regardless? Well, however he achieved it, we have no choice but to fight. We have mustered forces from all corners of the land, but it will not be easy. Baramos has summoned legions of savage beasts to defend them. I beseech you, mighty warrior, come to our aid once more. Take up arms and banish the Archfiend from this world forever. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> Obrigado! I know you would not turn your back on us now since Baramos is in the very room we defeated. So, so like... The big bad's back anyway. <laughs> Can we fight you? Uh, yeah, we do have to fight these guys too, I guess. Yeah, good job stopping the resurrection, but guess what? He resurrected. That's like a kick in the pants. Like, a major kick in the pants. And I am not a fan of that. I meant to do that game. So let's see. Twenty five. And I'm so close to finishing like all these skill trees, too. I mean, I'm not, like, super close or anything, but still. But does the castle come with a free Frogerts? If so, that's good.
Yeah, it really does. Like, some of these, like, animations in the 2D mode do look pretty cool. Like, they look awesome in the 3D mode, too, obviously, but... Again, it is kind of neat that... They have, like, really good 2D animations as well. This just led to the treasure chest, so it's not this one. I wonder if it's because I just have a lot of MP, so Kazap seems... Actually, which one would be more, like... Also, I have kind of noticed that when you have it on fight wisely, the AI will usually try to do like whatever spell is like the most uh, MP efficient that'll actually kill all the enemies in one shot. Because sometimes I've noticed where like someone uses a heavy spell and then after that the uh, then they just use a normal attack because they're within the range of it killing. So they they try to. They don't try to burn MP as much as, like, the fight aggressively one, but they still will use high MP if you can securely get the one shot, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense anyway, I don't know. That's why I like Fight Wisely as opposed to like the super aggressive one. Okay, Silvando. I think this is what I was wanting to get. I'll just leave it on that one, and we'll get that one next. Yeah, they know w when not to use MP. Because, like, I noticed, like, my character used Kassiz a little bit ago. I think that's because that one was a little more MP efficient. And could still one-shot all of them, so that's why they use that. Same with, like, Ultimate Power Gear. It does use a lot of MP, but we know we can get this one-shot because of that. Okay, big guy. When you interrupted the Rite of Resurrection, my underling, the Necrogondolier, was cast in the deepest despair, and it was that despair that fed me, that nourished me, that allowed me to return. And now the hero of a lion is no more, and the world is mine for the taking. There is none who can stand in my way. Or do you have other ideas? Do you really mean to face me? Yes. 
You know, of course, that to stand against the mighty Baramos is to throw away your life. Well, as you please, the decision you will regret. But not for long, I shall rend you asunder and devour your innards before you have even realized that you are dead. Jeez! A little confident, are we? <laughs> A little overconfident, are we? Okay, let's pep up. Let me see what Chop and Churn does again. Is this guy a dragon? I don't think so. I don't think he is. I like cold front. Hey, it's that Paramos dude, yeah. Wait, I'm bazoomed? I don't like being bazoomed. When's my character returning? <laughs> Oh, there we go. I'm back. Jade. <clears throat> okay. That's about, yeah, double the amount of experience we got for the first guy, so that's pretty good. So Serena, Hendrick, and Veronica. What do I want to get with you? Mm, you, how, curse you! You defeated the Archfiend Baramos, report back to the King of Portuga near the castle. Okay. Yeah, was. <laughs> Baramos is gone now. We don't have to worry about him ever again. I hate how there's like all this like hurdy stuff in this castle though. After we beat him, we can get free Frogers with a choice of topping. That's good. <laughs> the toppings contain potassium benzoate. <laughs> That's bad. Can I go now? The toppings are also cursed. <laughs>
Yeah, but I get experience this way, Grim Angel. Like... The more experience we have, the faster we can take out these other quests. <laughs> Wait, is there a chest there? No, there's not. I... I was seeing things. I wish I didn't have to go to the screen every single time. That's the only kind of annoyance, I guess, with this. So, 16. You have returned, and it seems you had some success. I understand that you have defeated Baramos. I really thought that this was the end, but then you showed up. Truly, you are like the light in the darkness. Your valor can only be compared to that of the hero of Alihan, and there is no higher praise than that. You have saved us all. Abrigato, thank you. But really, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude. Take this, por favor. Truly, you have earned it. Ooh, golden claws. Hey, we finished another book. Got a hero. What do we need to do this? Oh yeah, I cannot castle. We still have a task there. Out of curiosity, let me look at the quest catalog. Can I? Like, can I not do that in here? Okay, whatever. Oh. Okay, we do have this place. I, I needed to go here for another quest. The, yeah, for, this is for the Cannot Castle one. Oh no, not this place. At least, like, this goes faster now, because I feel like the last time I was here was, like, when I was, like, 40 levels under where I am now. chests here? Did 
do 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 okay so Oh, it's a can of box. Okay, let me follow the arrows. How do I get to that box? Close that though. But I got it earlier, didn't I? Maybe I wanted another one. Crap, I don't know if I want to do that. Because, yeah, I know I've been here before, but I had to come back here for another side quest. Oh, hi. Due to your heroic victory of the monster, I can go fetch for you see. Thank you, friend. My attention. I see he was Prince of Kanak. I did indeed. The boy recently came to me in search of a royal relative. He informed me that he's prince of this place, Kanak, and acquired a fine from Moonbrook. He appeared maximally disappointed when I answered the negative. Then he make implication he will venture toward Wheelbrook. So Wheelbrook is where I need to go. Good to move on out of here for now. Are we ready to go into Rose's room? <laughs> Ooh. 
What's happening in here? <laughs> wow, Sir, Sir Rose Garden, stop it, please. Slurp, help us, please. Must destroy, must destroy everything. Wait. Man, okay. Probably gonna heal after this quest or the next big quest. Maybe just after this one because I need to get MP for my character again. Thank you very much for rescuing us. You're a goo person. You mustn't blame Sir Rose Garden for attacking us, though. He's not some horrible monster. He's been Rose's staunchest defender since Slime Immemorial. I don't know what happened to him, but he just changed completely all of a sudden. He started attacking us like he was possessed or something. It was so slurprising. Next thing we knew, he'd smash up Rose's beloved flute of revelation. Now it's completely oozless. That's what her boyfriend, Pissarro, oozes to get to this room. Without it, they won't be able to see each other. It's a tragedy, don't you think? Rose and Bissaro are so great together. That's why I've decided to make a new flute of revelation and give it to Rose as a present. Add on slur pose, you'll be able to help, would you? Okay, that's great. Now I need you to bring me the wood. I'll be oozing. My grandmother once told me you can't ooze just any old wood to make something like the flute of revelation. You need some timber from a very special tree. It's called the Revella tree, and it grows in the forest where the fairies live. So I need to go to... So the fairy forest. I think I was there before. So, Rose's room. I don't believe it. The Flute of Revelation has been destroyed. Oh, you're gonna see your honey at some point again soon, I'm sure of it. Should I go to the next one, or should I just move on? I'll go to the next one. Oh yeah, I didn't heal like I said I would. Whoops. Eliza. Supreme Stages Staff. It's supposed to be filled with the holy power that can undo all sorts of nasty spells, and I've heard you can build it using a fun sized forge. Okay. Supreme Stages Staff. Okay. Can I use that in here? <laughs> oh, here's the quest catalog. Okay, so I've seen a lot of them. I've, I've completed most of them at least, so we're getting we're getting there. I'm guessing I can't use the fun side forge. Wait. Maybe I'll do that.
Uh, I love water. <laughs> mm, sorry. I may have drank a little too much water right there, so some of it went down the wrong pipe. Okay, fun size forge. So we need to make a sage staff. Says we don't own one, so yeah, we're back in 3D for just a moment. I guess I could try to look for that other thing I was supposed to. Okay, so I was told that for this, you want to start by increasing the temperature. still pretty good though. Not that it mattered too much. <laughs> okay, so I need to find that one book, too. So I need to go to either Galapolis or Heliodor. I'm trying to think. Whoa. Again, when I think chivalry, I think of, like, horseback, so that's why I think Galapolis. But Heliodor, I feel like, has more knights. I mean, Galapolis shouldn't... Galapolis is very small, so maybe I should go there first. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And yeah, I thought of Puerto Valor, too. Like, there's three places that could easily be. But I'm gonna go Colop Because again, Colopolis, I think, is the smallest place to check. So I feel like this might be the first one. Because again, whenever I think of chivalry, I think of horseback for some reason. Which I know is not you know, always the case. Chivalry is not necessarily, like, horseback. It's just, like, it's an idea of being, like, just a knight or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
that. Yeah, Heliodor is huge. It is really huge. I feel like that book... I feel like that book could have actually been help. It could have been what we were looking for, but I don't know. Yeah, Prince Ferris definitely improved a lot over the game. I wouldn't say that like I still am like that fond of him, but... He did improve for sure. So I didn't see anything here, but I really don't want to leave, if, especially if this does end up being the correct place. <laughs> because that would just be very, very unfortunate. Wait, is that it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. I think that was, that's all I had to do. So I can go back. Yeah, because usually whenever you've had to, like, do quests like that before, like, usually you had to, like, find a book. Heck, there's even a quest, another quest, where you did have to find a book from the, like, the girls' school. So, like, it's very inconsistent, which I'm not really a fan of. So let's see, um, we need to go back to Quester's Rest. Great, you got it. To be a king. Yep, that sounds like the one, alright. Now to have Aaron take a good look. realize though we kind of didn't we like screw the timeline like of our real world because we took a book from a different world and 
Well, I, I guess we're not really time traveling, though, but. Still, it's weird. <laughs> I just remember Patty as a character that's in Fortune Street. Oh, so we have another statue. Sweet. Yay, we have three of the... Ten? Maybe we can try to get five done for tonight, maybe? I don't know. So we got that one. Um, we need to go back to this one, I believe. Hidden Valley. Let's see if we can. Please, another monster. She's back to normal. It worked. Oh, thank you so much. I'm human again, and it's all because of you. Please take this by way of thanks. At least I can goo or do. <laughs> we did it. And I still can't. Yeah. I guess that's something you do in the main, the actual game, and not this game. Okay, so we did that. We still have to get the uh, Rose's room, but we'll do that later. We um, have to go back to the Fairy Woods. Um, I can delete this quest now. I'm still not sure about that Spectrum Nectar, but we'll figure that out later. I think we're about, like... Okay, because Weaver's Peak, we're going to be going there shortly. We've almost gone around the whole thing. Let's see. Oh, there's Wheelbrooks. We need to complete a quest from there. So let's go to Briscoletti's mansion. Ciao, lad. You're a slim, are you not? I'm Rodrigo Brasciletti, the owner of the house. I don't suppose you could spare me a minute, could you? The thing is, you see, there's a big wedding meant to be taking place in town tomorrow. We're all busy preparing for it. The groom's gone off to get official permission to wed. The plan is to get everyone ready before he gets back. But now, some awful monsters appeared and put a curse on everyone in my household. So it looked just like me. No one's going to want to celebrate until this is sorted out. I have a theory as to why this might have happened, you see. My grande, 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 grande grandfather, Rodolfo, was famous for sending troublesome monsters away where they couldn't hurt people. I think one of them must have managed to break free and has come back to wreak havoc on the descendants of the man who imprisoned them. Per favor, lad, you must find this creature and defeat it, otherwise the groom-to-be will end up marrying someone with my ugly mug. At least he's, like... Oh, I mean, no, he shouldn't have a bad 
the opinion of yourself, but he has a little bit of humor about it at least. Bashilani is not pleased that everyone has mentioned sure this is Head to the Abbey where people go to reinvent themselves and see if you can't color the culprit. Okay, so we need to go to All Trades Abbey. That won't take too long. I mean, I can just do that really quick. And I believe it was like just this book right here. Yeah. Ah, there it is. What's that name? Pilfer Pathifith or something? Like Ooh, all those years of waiting I finally get let out, only to get given the hiding of a lifetime. So much for enjoying my freedom. Okay, so we got that done. That didn't take too long. easy. Sure. Can I marry Hendrick? Ooh. 
let's open this one. 2,000 gold. Yes. Uh, who should we marry this time? I'm actually gonna pick like I want to pick Jade this time, honestly, because like, I I really like Jade, and I was honestly wanting to pick her for that other one, but I was curious about Serena as well, so I'll pick I'll pick Jade for this one. <laughs> well, okay, when you say that, like you're making it pretty weird. <laughs> Bianca is the only choice. <laughs> uh, why do you have to make it weird? <laughs> the other one? No. Does anyone know what was in the other chest, just out of curiosity? Oh, I still have to pick... I'll pick Rab. I'm your grandfather. <laughs> yeah, marry your grandfather. Oh, God. It is kind of funny, though. It is kind of funny. That was kind of funny, not going to lie. I'm glad I picked Hendrix, though. Okay, so Wheelbrook, we're looking for someone, and we also just have the general quest here. The moment Pancras came back to the village, everyone got struck down with this horrible cold. When the world is going on, Achu. Excuse me, senor. You need something for me? It's no good time right now. I have a terrible cold. My fever is so high. Okay, Sancho, super strong medicine. The Syndicate, the Quester's Rest, they have the medicine you need. Maybe it's a voice from heaven, or maybe just a dream, maybe it's nothing, but the only clue I have to offer you. Okay, so we have to go to the Quester's Rest. COVID and DQ. Yeah, really. Maybe we could use this game as a way to figure out how to get rid of COVID. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on. I think I have some. This just seems unnecessary. It faded to black. Why couldn't it just... <laughs> it's like, okay, we're done. Stone Cold Cold Killer. Okay. Real brick, honestly, doesn't seem like it'll take too long. You heard it from Pong, Mega. I don't know. Everyone's alive again! As a boy who calls himself the Prince of Kanak, paid a visit to the village? Why, yes, he was here not long ago. He asked me if I was really the King of Maidenhall. Well, I told him I had royal blood, but my family hailed from the Gotha, not Maidenhall. I seemed terribly disappointed to hear that, I must say. Anyway, he shuffled off soon afterwards, memory saying about the Neverglade. That's the last I saw of him. Okay, so now we have to go to the Neverglade. We did complete another story, though. Another book. Let's all go to the Neverglade. Let's all go to the Neverglade. So we have to actually go through here again. I feel like th this is not going to give us very much experience. Oh! Well, okay. Well, that's one of the things we needed. But I still need to find the, uh... Guy. Is this 
Scheiße. You're not a happy burb, but Ringer, I don't like when you're not a happy burb. Oh, here he is. This is what I'm looking for. Well met, stranger. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Prince of Kanak. Might I be so bold to surmise that thou art none other than the Huey Seek, the Prince of Maidenhall? Aye, there is something noble indeed about thy bearing. Royal blood floweth in my veins, as there can be no doubt thou art he, I am certain of it. Mm, do mine ears deceive me? Thou art indeed a prince, but not of the kingdom of Maidenhall. Thou hailest from a realm named Dundrasil? Then can it be that this is another false drawn, and I am no longer closer to succeed in my quest to join forces with my royal peers? How far have I come? I can scarce recall. I have journeyed hither in Yuhan, what has thus far been an utterly fruitless quest guided by that eerie disembodied voice. To think that it would lend me here to this wretched never-ending forest. Perhaps I am no adventurer after all. I twear better than I had never left in the safety of the castle. Yes. You go back there. Th this light! What, what devilry is this? Wah! That's funny. We just like, you know what? Just get out of here, really. Okay, where's Evac? I understand, Rungra. Take it easy, burb buddy. So I can get rid of both of these now. And this will allow us to complete like two different quests and two books. Which is pretty cool. Guys, we are like almost done with the Tockle stuff. Like, I did not think it would just take one session. <laughs> I mean, we still got stuff to do. We're not almost done, and some of the other quests could be blocked behind a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, the fast combat definitely helps. Yeah, it is just a bunch of back and forth stuff, but still, like, I did one of these sessions before and I feel like I only completed four things, like, and just four individual sections. Now it's like I only have, like, four books left to finish. Just seems like I've made a lot of progress tonight, just alone. And if I look at, uh, the quest catalog... Okay, yeah, there's that one, and then all of these. Yeah, having the passwords too, obviously. Okay, Weaver's Peak. Okay. Cat! Meow!
I used to be run-of-the-mill country bumpkin, but then I received a special blessing in the church at the bottom of the mountain, and now I'm a transformed. I suppose you want some advice, do you? Well, first things first, that hairstyle's gotta go. It's about a century out of date. You're a jerk. Hello there, just passing through, are you? Well, before you go, I wonder if you might be able to help me. It's my brother, you see. He went to the market down the mountain to fetch the spirit crown for the village festival. And ever since he's come back, it's like he's a different person. So fashionable, I suppose you call it. He's never shown any interest in that stuff before. Most of the people in the village think it's great that he's suddenly so stylish, but I think there's something fishy going on. Truth be told, I just don't think that man is my brother, and I intend to expose him as the imposter he is. I can't do it alone, though. I mean, what if... Whoever it really is gets all defensive and turns on me. I need your help. Can you lend me a hand with the unmasking? Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. I know you're a helpful sort, just like my brother, my real brother, that is. Now, I think the best way to get the truth is to make a few discreet inquiries. If you ask around at Patty's party planning place, <clears throat> that's the big end. Someone's bound to know something. It won't take you too long to unearth a few clues. I'm sure of it. Then we can find out why this creep's pretending to be my brother. Okay, so you gotta go back to Quester's Rest again. <laughs> oh, that is really sad to hear. I think that's like an actual outfit too, so we need to see what that looks like when we leave this area. What's that? You seek an item that might reveal the true form of a troublesome and fiendish imposter? That's somewhat out of the blue, friend, but as it happens, I know just such a thing. Bedora Grass. A mage acquaintance of mine tells me he found some of his travels only recently. If you are interested in learning more, find the grotto known as the Ruby Path of Dew. <laughs> And make your way to the third level. He spoke of going there when I last saw him. Oh my god. Not the ruby path of doom. That area takes forever. We'll probably have to come back here for another quest for all I know. Okay. Stop talking to everyone.
How did I not get that before? So Ruby Path of Doom is a cool little thing. It was a map spawn that became so popular it spread around the world due to the amount of metal slimes that spawn in it. Okay. That's interesting. Which uh, game was it in, out of curiosity? Oh, nine. Okay. So when it says third, does it mean this one or third like in the actual labyrinth? I guess I'll look around both if I don't find it. I want to say that, like, I was inter like, uh, Dragon Quest IX was a DS game, right? Like, it was on a handheld system, I believe. Okay, that was a game I was honestly interested in getting, because it had, like, Wi-Fi connections, and I think me, like... One time, me and my friend Odin Spack were doing a uh, E3 podcast with another one of our friends, and that was a game that was revealed during that. But I never actually ended up getting it. got the grass. Now we can go back here, I believe. Let's all go back to Weaver's Peak. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> here, eat this grass. I'm a monster! <laughs> oh god. pretty girls to be nice to. I and mean, we all want that, but you can't deceive people like that either. That's just the way it is. You can't deceive people.
I keep getting. I'm wondering if maybe there's something else I have to do because I keep getting a message that I can't read due to the speed of this. Oh, there we go. Well, either way, we beat him. Twenty thousand experience points. Slim and Jade. Slim and Jade. I can't get what I wanted. What about Jade? She can't get what I wanted. Gal, yeah, I wanted to just do some nice with Tony. It would be kind to of me. Is that really so bad? I promise I won't pull any stunts like this again. Can you forgive me? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You really are a kind of person just like Tanya. Anyway, I think I've caused enough trouble in this village for one day. I'd better head back home. Thank you again for being so kind to me. Okay. We did it. We completed the quest. The dragon quest. Even though there wasn't a dragon in this particular quest. But... Another book completed. We only have three left. And I think this is the cat one that I'm still confused on. This one is... Okay, Room of Revival. This one is... To Tangle Castle. So, Trodane Castle. I don't even know what this one is. I feel like there's something at Chateau Felix that I just haven't figured out yet. Call me Ishmari, I come from the land of the moon shadow. I sense the destiny has guided you to me that you might hear my tale. I have a problem, you see, a number of visitors to my world are trapped there, unable to return to their own. This world and the world call home are connected by the moon shadow window, a portal that opens only in the light of the moon. But some wicked soul is preventing the night from falling. The sun has been high in the sky for as long as I can remember. Please, will you aid me in bringing this unending day to a close? Thank you, child of child of man. <laughs> I have discerned that whatever foul force is preventing night from falling is hidden itself away somewhere within Trading Castle. Know that the spirit of the moon shall protect you. I wish you luck. <clears throat> child of man. <laughs> I just love that. I don't know, like, I get it, because it's like an otherworldly force calling me that, but just... <laughs> Child of man. Oh, God. Oh, Metal King! Metal King Slime! Oh, he fled. Damn it. I wanted all the experience. It's, it's, it's already my favorite area because of the Child of Man quote. does look pretty cool. And it's got Metal King Slime possibilities, which makes it even better. Maybe I'll give Hendrick axes, just in case.
Castle Trodane, I believe, is also a map in Fortune Street, too. I remember that from... I think it's like the first board, too, actually. Uh, Eric. Yep, you can get your next thing. Man, I'm getting so close to getting everything. A couple of metal <laughs> slimes would get me there faster, though. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Silvando He ain't ready yet though. That's fine. I mean, they're experience bags, so I'm not surprised they run. They want to keep all that experience to themselves. Greedy jerks. <laughs> I was really expecting one of those to be a mimic. Okay, so it's nothing here. Man, there's so many doors. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's huge. Thank God I found the... Uh fast tech speed. So 
it's not there. We've gone in the front. It's more like I made myself 8-bit. This is an optional quest, so... That is forcing you to be in the 8-bits thing, so... That's the reason why. Also, hey, Wallach. Well, like, you realize I've beaten the game by this point. <laughs> I'm literally just doing extra stuff, so... You actually don't need to worry about that anymore, Mega. I pretty much kind of already, like, said that floodgates could be open. But... Appreciate you posting it just the same. Uh, let's see. Where the hell? I, I feel like I've explored the whole castle now. Oh, that's the joke. Okay, my, my bad. Okay, I have to go up there. Well, when you have, like, some enemies that basically just give you a free level up, leveling up's really not that hard to do, <laughs> to be fair. And yeah, there's all other exploits, too. Also, apparently there's, like, an option that makes leveling up harder or something, which... I didn't want to do for my first playthrough. I wanted to actually have fun with this game, so I didn't bother with it. Okay, so this is... I feel like it has to be in here. Maybe not. Break, break, break. You know, Mega, that, that actually might be a funny idea. Let me see when we get another level up, because I want to kind of look at something. Because I feel like stat gains are not really that significant, so like that guy would still be doing a lot of damage, I imagine. Because, yeah, look at this. Uh... I mean, most stat gains are like one or two or three or something. Uh, do you have next? Um, next stream RPG will either be. You know what? I'm gonna change answers and say it might be too early to ask. <laughs> Theoretically, I'd want to do one of the other games that was on my poll, but the other game I was interested in 
are more interested in was the Digimon one. And I feel like that one would take just as long, or maybe not as long as this, but still take long. Plus there's also the fairy tale RPG that I might need to do a playthrough of just, you know, out of respect to Koei Tecmo for giving me the game in the first place. So I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out. Also, Hand of God. <laughs> so is all of his skills revealed? Yeah, they're all revealed at this point. Let's just work down, I guess. So 16. What's this? Yeah, there's also that RPG too that you keep mentioning. <laughs> Haven't forgotten about that one either. Cause honestly, like I am interested in that game. It's just that you know. When I originally made that poll, like, there were basically four RPGs that I had to play. Those three and Pokemon Shield, which, as I said, I didn't want to, like, do that on stream because of how toxic Pokemon players can be. So there was four right there. With the Fairy Tale RPG, that's five. <laughs> Okay, now, hold on. Step back one. We had four. Minus this one. Down to three again. Plus Fairy Tale, that's four. Plus Bug Fables, that's five now. So, like, I'm my RPG to-do list is not getting smaller. <laughs> oh, no, I know you are, Mega. Like, if, if you were annoying me with it, I would ask you to stop. And I know you would stop because you actually respect me as a person. Not that other people don't respect me, it's just... I've already beaten Quest 64, Wally. Well, <laughs> Yeah, and there's still lots of other RPGs I still need to play. I still need to play Final Fantasy IX. Which I hear is, like, one of the best Final Fantasy games. I still want to play that. I still want to play X at some point. Final Fantasy V looked pretty cool when I saw Odin stream it. I want to play more of the Dragon Quest series, too, so... There's just too many games. There, okay. Hold on, I'm going to rant about this very quick. There are too many games, and then there's people complaining about Nintendo not <laughs> showcasing anything. When, like, <laughs> I can't even play, like, games that are out now. So I, I honestly don't mind the hold off on major releases. I'm assuming this is the bad guy. Well, let me go ahead and find him. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> wow, where did you appear from? How dare you startle the mighty Dale like that? As long as it's daylight, this world of mine, my master taught me the most marvelous spell for turning night into day, and I intend to keep using it. As soon as evening comes, I cast TikTok, and it's broad daylight again, and as long as I can keep doing that, I'll be the ruler of all I survey. Now, I think it's high time the truth dawned on you. You are no match for the mighty Dale, Mighty Knights.
<laughs> the mighty Dale. He got crushed. Slim and Jade. Not quite. Not quite for either of you. Er, cow, the world is mine, and now the sun sets on my mighty empire. Maybe now I can finally get some rest. Maybe. Thank you, human. You have brought night back to this world at last. Finally, the castle library will be bathed in light of the moon, and the moon shadow window shall appear once more. Those who are trapped in my world can finally return to their home, a place where they have much to do, and all is thanks to you. Ooh, a Shamshir of Light. For now your work here is done, but one day I fear that fiend who sent his minion here will make himself known to you. Take care of yourselves and know that the moon shall always watch over you. Okay. So here's the problem. I mean, it's not really a problem, I guess, but... I don't know what to do now, because that's done. But there's still things to do. And especially here, like, there's still a question mark. And I still have no idea what I have to do here with the cat, the cats. Like, this is still... I'm still not certain about the... Oh, wait. Was this guy here before? When did this guy appear? Maybe it was killing Dale? I don't... I doubt it. Because that, that... That was an easy battle, so I doubt that was it. Bianca. So I need to find. I forget where Bianca was, though. Forget where Bianca was, since I've been I've been in every single area at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. Was it the mansion? I guess I didn't talk to everyone there, so she, yeah, she probably was there. Oh yeah, she's right there.
Okay. Well, you always have to go for the meme choice. Like, let's be real. The meme choice is the only choice that works, really. Kitties! Okay. Alright, let's go. You just received your first pet, Great Saber Cat. Do you think Percy would make a good name? Sure. A daughtery old Saber Cat comes up to you looking to you join your party. Would you let him? Yes. You are mighty and magnificent as a great saber cat. You are kind, strong, and brave. Or at least you'll be one day, right? That's what the test says anyway, so much like you. Okay, well, you're Jessica, right? Yeah. Tee hee hee, you really are a marvel, mother. I promise I never wander off on a silly old adventure again. I can bear to be away from you for even a second. Hear me, when the world has gone to Jessica, she's being the model daughter. Obedient, pleasant, respectful, it's most disconcerting. The Jessica I know is willful, argumentative, and argumentative. Capable of doing what she's told her to say. Kingdom of Ali Han. Which one's Ali Han again? <laughs> Cause I feel like we just <laughs> It's it's a place we just did tonight, I'm sure. So I remember seeing that name before. <laughs> oh, okay, it's the Questers Rest, okay. <clears throat> Guessing it's you. Or not. Or not? I talked to everyone here. Oh, a book.
It's not like it was shimmering on the screen like all the other quests in this game. Okay, so we get a goddess whip. Okay, well, we did it. So we've visited every single place now. There's still two quests we haven't completed, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this. We have the Room of Revival, which we still need to complete, and Tatangle Castle. For Room of Revival, we need to find an old man at the Lyre of Ire. Or something like that. Tatangle Castle, we need to find Spectrum Nectar. I'm going to look at these quests again really quick. You've been asked by Princess Gwalen of Tatangle to find some Spectrum Nectar to restore her father's voice. According to her, only one who can bring peace to their world will be able to get their hands on this sacred serum. And then there's this one. You've been asked by a man in the Room of Revival to defeat the Revivalists so all the monsters preventing him and his companions from birth will disappear. The Revivalist was last known to have left in search of the Liar of Ire. Find him and put him in his place. You can only get the Nectar after beating the final boss. So I can do that now, you're saying. What about the Liar of Ire? Like, is that something here or something in the real world Liar of Ire should be where you did the first quest I don't remember which one that was <laughs> I don't know which one that is. None of them are numbered, guys. <laughs> I don't remember, and I did this, like, what? Like, years ago. Feels like. Uh, here we go.
How are they ordered? Like, does it say, like... I don't see a number anywhere. I, I get... You guys are missing my point. They're not numbered now. <laughs> I have already figured out that each one's a Dragon Quest game. <laughs> the point is, they are not numbered now. I didn't do this since Session 2. And this is like, what, session 22 or something? Like, this was months ago when I did this. How was I supposed to rem remember this was the first book we did? <laughs> there are no numbers on them. <laughs> there was no way for me to figure out this was the first one. I am standing by my objection to this. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> Guys, you're missing the point. Then drop it! <laughs> okay. So we've done this. So does this mean I have that do already, or do I have to find it after beating Kalasmos? Because I actually... I have kind of a theory that I may have messed up. I feel like I might have loaded my save before I defeated Kalasmos, not the save afterwards. I don't know for certain. So, a Tockle in Tickington should have given it to you. So I just talked to someone? I mean, there's no way of knowing now. He would have come up to you and handed it to you. Okay, so that pretty much confirms that I will have to beat the game, beat the final boss again. Because no one did that to me. So I think I just accidentally loaded the wrong file. But that's okay. I mean, literally I saved right before the final boss, so I can just complete that quest whenever I decide to go back and beat the final boss again, so that's not a problem. I think I am going to maybe stop for the night, though. Um, so tomorrow... And tomorrow's session is going to be kind of weird, I think. Because, like, we only have four quests left. One of them's obviously a taco quest. There's also this one, which I have to wait for the right enemy spawn. There's this one, which I have to talk to a girl in Octagonia. There's still this one, which I'm still a little uncertain about that one, too. And, okay, that's it. So yeah, that's... I guess tomorrow I'll start working on that, but like I said, tomorrow's session could be a little weird. Because I might just be doing just like random grinding in certain places and stuff, and not necessarily like 
anything too exciting, but I mean, from this session, no one's really given me, like, any <clears throat> major, like, ideas of stuff I can still do. So, tomorrow could potentially be the final session of this, if I'm being honest. Because I can't think of anything else I can really do at this point. <clears throat> I mean, Wheel of, Wheel of Hama is something I'm going to be trying tomorrow. Because I think I have one more quest of that to try. So that's one of the things. Are there stuff post taco Okay, well... Well, there's also the casino. Okay, so maybe... There is stuff to do. There is still stuff to do. But I, I do kind of want to stop stream now. I don't want to go, like, more than four hours for, like, these regular streams. So we'll... Oh, we need to do the super horse race, too. Okay, so... We have a couple of things. We have a couple of things we can do tomorrow. So it won't be as awkward as I thought it was. We'll just... Let me write let me write some of this stuff down. So we have final toggle quest post toggle stuff wheel of hama super horse race casino Oh yeah, there's something else I want to do too before I already whatever. I'll do that tomorrow. Rebeat, yeah, well, I mean, that, that goes with the final toggle stuff, so. Beat Colasmos again. I, I wrote down Casino. Calm yourself. <laughs> I wrote it down. Oh, yeah, and also the remaining side quests. Well, guys, I'm going to head off. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. I, I'm honestly surprised I got the rest of the Taco stuff done, if I'm being honest. But hey, feels good. Um, looks like uh, DT is streaming. I'll send you guys over to DT. She's a cool guy. Okay, later everyone.